this is Lekha Menon and we are in a new episode of uh, Masala Talks Lockdown Tales. Well, what else can we talk about these days except people like us, people like you, people like our favorite celebrities who are under lockdown. And today I have with me my personal favorite, everyone's favorite, someone who can actually save us from going cuckoo in these times. <laughs> my darling Kubra say thank you, thank you, thank you Kubra for joining us from thank Mumbai. You, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lekha. Thank you so much for having me on board. This is so much fun because uh, I don't think we speak to people we love as much as we have now during the last 21 days of the lockdown. And I've been, I think, under house arrest for the last, for the last four weeks already. So, uh, yeah, it, it's lovely to like reconnect and tell people you love them because, you know, you just feel like, Arsa ho gaya, yeah? like, I love you, people. <laughs> so this is really nice. And I love it's... you very much kind of strange right i mean how people are coming together while they're apart right now it's a very strange phenomenon it's it's bizarre right like you know uh, when we thought everything was happening according to us uh, happening the way we had conjured this reality in our head and we were running and chasing against time and everything and we would always make these false promises huh let's meet huh especially in bombay this is a phenomenon um like yeah man let's just meet huh Milte, jald milte, jaldi milte, kal milte, parso milte, and that kal parso never jaldi happens. never came. And today, when we're actually sitting in our houses, we want to so reach out to the people we love. Let me like it's for your own safety, stay at home. <laughs> totally, totally. So, Kubra, let's begin by talking about um, the medium, the kind of uh, thing that made you, of course, so popular across our households, the digital medium. You're the queen, the sensation, the digital sensation. And now we are married to Netflix and we're married to Amazon and other streaming yes. platforms. Literally, this, this become my spouse, I'm sure. For, <laughs> I'm single, by the way, but whatever. Uh, so tell me, how do you see this uh, going forward in the sense that people are kind of becoming used to not going through the theatres and they are viewing like crazy. I'm sure the viewership and... Uh, whatever patterns of uh, these uh, streaming platforms have increased so much. What's your take on it as somebody who's uh, been in this space for such a long time? Well, I honestly, you know, this is not a question that's being asked just now. It's been a question that has been prevalent since the rise of the OTT platforms. Is it going to change the way we view, you know, cinematic? Uh, uh, projects that are being produced but I've always believed that cinema by itself is an experience there are some movies that you want to watch only in the theater and that's not because those are great stories but those are because there's great engineering stories and there's a great experience that goes along with it of course it's a very tough time when you look at the entertainment business as, as a whole I think when I was in Ireland the first news we heard of a project shut down was the newborn movie so the new Bond movie was the first Bond movie, like the first movie uh, to shut down, uh, you know, under the uh, circumstances of the coronavirus, so the COVID-19 situation. And very soon you saw the whole world coming to slowly but surely a grinding halt. I think India is the home to so many filmmakers, storytellers. Uh, and now, especially with so many local platforms coming in, there are so many more who are getting the opportunity. So I feel this is the time for innovation. So if you want people to watch your co content, then you please be more innovative. You know, you start using those engineering ideas and this new technology that we have in the space that's going to have eyeballs. Not, you know, it was so easy, right? Like YouTube made it so convenient for us to take a phone and, you know, shoot whatever we wanted to. But today you've got editing, you've got you know, the application of these tools that you have. So I think the more stories you want to tell and the better in which, the better ways in which you can engage people, you'll still have an audience. Mm -hmm. And as far as the theater goes are concerned, I'm sure we'll still be able to crackle our popcorn very soon, but it's going to take a while. And I think that's the new reality. The new reality is how long can you wait? <laughs> so that's I think a, no. that's the new reality. Indeed, indeed. That's the theme. What have you been watching? Oh, I, uh, so uh, as, as we speak, um, you know, like 15 minutes before you called, I was watching this show called Abstract. So it's on Netflix. It's been one of my favorite shows. I watched season one, like a capsule, you know, I just like, you know, I just gulped it down. But the second season, I was actually taking it really slow. And the second season is just far more fantastic. Um, 
So it's got some incredible people who are design experts. So abstract is basically, you know, breaking down design elements in your life. Wow. So there is, uh, you know, an illustrator from the New Yorker magazine. There is a bio architect, a bio designer. Uh, there is a costume designer from films. There's somebody who makes toys for children. And you understand the science and the psyche behind their lives and their journey to actually create something. So at a time, you know, where everyone is saying, Kuch naya karo. You know, create, you know, yes, this is the yes. time. So if you need inspiration, this is a great show. And I'm just like, at the, I'm, I'm like just getting out of it. So I would highly recommend this show to people who haven't watched it yet. Now the situation, the lockdown, which can extend on, what does it mean for the artist? I mean, people who actually go to the sets every day, what's the future like of these productions? Because let's, I mean, honestly, it's been a little, um, everything has gone so haywire. Uh, how does that impact artists, live performers uh, and things like that? When do you, what's the buzz in your circle, so to say? When will it all come back? So uh, the thing is, I'm going to start with a really, you know, on a lighter note. And that is, you know, on a set, we have about 500 people out of which 250 people are assistants. So I think it's going to finally come down to a time when we have to actually do our own shit. <laughs> So, you know, we won't have someone who's like, oh, bhaiya, coffee bana de na, tum utho khud coffee bana. Mm -hmm. You know, that's going to be one thing that's going to happen. And that's really on a lighter note. But there are tons of people who mm -hmm. don't know anything else but this. You know, it exactly. is unskilled labor that has been polished, refined at the job. So for these people to find another foray into, you know, another realm of talent, creativity may not be possible. So it's very important that we stay strong, we stay resilient and we come up with an idea so mm -hmm. that we all can function back together as one team, as one family. It's not the time to eliminate, mm -hmm. but it's time to include and empower. I think that's where I see the industry as a whole mm -hmm. rising up together because I'm not the only one in this, you know, every filmmaker, every producer, every writer, every mind, every creative genius out there mm -hmm. is not genius by his or her own merit. We, all, we are all who we are because of the people we have around us and they inspire us. So it's time for us to all just come in together. I honestly don't see things lifted and functional again until July. Mm -hmm. So I hope my birthday brings good news to people. Oh, <laughs> otherwise you'll have a Zoom party on your birthday and, you know, raise a toast and cut the cake and say that, yay, hi, happy birthday, Kubra from Dubai or from Los Angeles, wherever your pants are. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Talking of, of course, uh, being inclusive, positive, bringing together, did you participate in the... Thali banging and the dia lighting, which everyone did, a lot of your colleagues from the industry did. Uh, what was your take on that? So, yes, uh, the, the truth of the matter is that I did, uh, you know, but all the Thali and uh, I did light a dia. But I was like, like my Twitter feed said, Thali tak to thik tha boss. <laughs> so I thought, you know, the idea of coming together as a nation was very well celebrated, but it soon, you know, uh, brought about its own uh, you know panic situation because people came out to the streets and somehow we don't understand moderation and that thali should have been thopoed on our heads first <laughs> so uh, when you know it came down to uh, lighting diyas after that i was like come on now just give us some real measures i understand i understand the sentiment behind it but right now it's time to even tell people who don't know the basics yes. it's time to educate them i mean you know i mean you had people burning up their houses for god's sake because they were trying to light beer so yeah, yeah i i just personally feel that um, you know we need to kind of educate the forces that are going to make uh, you know this entire effort worth its while instead of saying hey let's just celebrate celebration for us is world cup gpl <laughs> you know exactly. and, and this is not a celebration and it also leads to a lot of uh, uh, myths to be formed. You know, Angar Jalao Ge Corona Bhag Jayega, Full Moon Ke Time Pe Corona Bhag 
कोई भाग नहीं रहा है यहाँ से यू नो वी हैव टू गो थ्रू दिस इट्स कॉल्ड इंड्योरेंस फॉर अ रीजन एंड दिस टाइम इज टू इंड्योर वॉट वी आर गोइंग थ्रू दर इज नो शॉर्टकट टू इट सो येस आई अंडरस्टैंड द सेंटिमेंट्स बिहाइंड इट बट आई थिंक इट्स टाइम टू गेट अ बिट प्रैक्टिकल एज वेल सो वॉट्स द नेक्स्ट टास्क इफ यू आर आस्क वॉट वुड यू एक्चुअली डू हैपीली Hey, you know what I did just before this call? I actually peeled a full mango, <laughs> so one skin, and I I know how hard it is, and and I actually managed to complete that task. So I have like a full mango peel and a mango in my hand, and I'm delighted. I think I'm master chef now. Fantastic! Wish that. And then so yesterday, the corona, like Hal Makuni for the first time in my life. and it turned out really well so i guess it's about small joys that you can bring to yourself so don't set like big tasks you know ke main i don't know kya karne wala hu ya karne wali hu just keep it small keep yourself motivated to keep yourself happy yes. keep yourself joy in the moment that's good enough for now so keeping yourself happy you are always so bubbly cheerful love seeing you on screen love you in jawani jane man also yeah, fun film you. actually fun film and guys if you have not watched it for some whatever reason it's there on the it's on platform. amazon prime it's yes. on amazon prime so watch uh, it's a really fun film i i really enjoyed it after a long time we had this urban fun romantic you know rom com so yeah. from such a different world from sacred games very not not so sacred uh, things happening in the movie right <laughs> I actually had someone texting me saying, "I'm so glad someone saw that side of you." I'm like, "I'm so glad someone saw yeah. that side of you." So, yeah, I want to see you, the you know the she girl that we know and we love. <laughs> so what's your take on being happy in the sense that simple tips? You said, "Okay, cooking, whatever gives you chota, like you know things, uh, small things that give you joy." Few things that uh, you would ad- advise people uh, from preventing them from getting into this depression and this you know downward spiral when you think, oh "God, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next?" everyone is going through the same uh, worries and concerns what would you say you know, are the best way i was thinking the other day it's so easy to be a uh, worrisome mm-hmm. about something that's not in your control but i think it's time to transform the worry into wonder ask questions ask what if how uh, where ask these questions to yourself and kind of start you know using those th- those firings in the mind to actually transform worry into wonder one mm-hmm. two i think it's about you know simple joys that you can gain out of like cleaning your own house mm-hmm. you've never peeked into you know your own cupboard for years probably so just you know clean your cupboard pick out things that matter to you throw things out that don't matter to you water your plants every day cook yourself a meal uh present it like you are the king of your house you know these are little mental uh you know tweaks that you can do that will allow you to genuinely appreciate your own self because we are so reliant i think on other people other situations everything is on the outside that makes us happy so i think this is a very generous time i mean there's adversity but that's on the outside look at the blessing that's bringing to us it's time for us to appreciate ourselves it's time for us to reflect with and it really is and i know it sounds like what when did she become baba kubra but i god this has been a journey that i've been on for many years so yes. when people say you know you need to now sit and sit still i've been like hmm what was the last thing i did when i went on a trek i sat and i sat still you know for hours um i was watching this wonderful ted talk the other night that says boredom leads to brilliance and boredom is not an emotion we need to eliminate wow that's new that's really new it's really cool i'll send you the link at the back of this it's it's wonderful i mean you know she 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 talks about how boredom is an emotion that we cannot uh, elude or evade from our lives it's something that needs to exist you know it's the most primary emotion in our life and i think it's time for us to just enjoy the boredom it really is because one thing that you need to understand is this situation that we are in we didn't directly uh create it we're in it together and 
we can fight this together. There is no use trying to, you know, uh, tire yourself out fighting the unseen enemy. Reserve, conserve that energy and uh, try to make yourself happy right now. Literally, in, try to make yourself happy. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Um, so recommendations to watch. Okay, you said abstract, what else? Uh, there are several lists that are going on, so it's wonderful. Uh, I just started watching Panchayat, which is on Amazon Prime. It's a TVF show, right. and it's unbelievable because I'm a huge fan of the writing that mm -hmm. TVF brings to uh, the forefront. So Panchayat is a great show. Uh, I just got off Hunters, which is a wonderful show again. Everyone's talking about Money Heist. I'm not a huge fan, but I would recommend Money Heist if you haven't watched it yet. Uh, out of uh, the movies that maybe you haven't watched in the past, uh, there are tons of great Shah Rukh Khan movies to watch. <laughs> so please go watch them. Uh, I got back to watching Three Idiots and Kal Ho Na Ho and whatnot, you know, reminiscent of, you know, the movies that we've forgotten. Um, I watched Panga recently mm -hmm. okay. on Hot Stuff, which was wonderful. So I think there are several wonderful movies that you may have missed out in the cinemas you can watch them now article 15 mm -hmm. Mul. there are so many wonderful movies and the only not on any other day on my busy days i would say watch mind hunters mm -hmm. or you know uh, other uh, criminal shows because they kind of keep you but i honestly believe this is the time to watch stuff that makes you happy so watch stuff that you know reinstates positivity in you and that will be good well there you have it great recommendations yes watch stuff that makes you happy another thing that makes us happy are jokes sometimes you have to make light of the situation so what's your favorite coronavirus joke i mean without taking away the seriousness of the situation you know sometimes it's just okay you just have to wonder what the hell is going on so what's yours um, something that you heard and really chuckled. With, I'm going to start with the worst joke ever, and that is hashtag Corona Pyar Hai. I want uh -huh. to beat the person who ever started. It is it's really <laughs> bad. Uh, but I think uh, the other joke that I just heard before this chat started <laughs> was uh, an employee sending uh, an email to the HR manager saying, Hey boss, if my pagar is not going to go office. So I think that would be one of the cutest uh, threats that are there right now. Um, and and uh, I think that's a cool joke. Uh, it's me an idea yeah. to send an email now. What else? <laughs> yeah, I don't even have a boss. Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I think uh, uh, on, on, a, on, on a more serious note, I know everybody wants to get back to work. And uh, it's just time to just... Uh, Chill out, man. We'll go to work. We'll do everything as it has to happen. We'll end up there. Otherwise, we'll celebrate on Zoom your birthday for sure. I hope this is over before that. I <laughs> genuinely, genuinely hope, pray, and wish it's over before that. It will be. It will be, inshallah. Thank you, Cobra. Thank you so much. Such a Thanks pleasure talking to you always and your positivity. Let that spread. Don't stall. Yay. Thank you. Let's be Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. Take care. Bye.